It's Read Across America Week. And what better way to celebrate Read Across America Week than to talk about the United States of America. And that's why we're reading Train of States by Peter Cease today. Which state do you think was the first state? Hmm, I wonder. You think it's Ohio? Florida? You think it's Maine? Oregon? Georgia? Well, guess what? It's none of those. The first state is Delaware, and it became a state in 1787. Isn't that cool? Now look on this page and see if you can find the state fish. And so you know, every page of this book has pictures of official animals, official plants of the state, and famous people. It's gonna have the capital of the state and some fun facts as well. Now back to the state fish. Did you find it yet? It's the weak fish, which is a funny name, isn't it? But a weak fish is called that because it has weak mouth muscles. And those weak mouth muscles make it hard for you to catch it if you go fishing. Now we're gonna hop on over to the fourth state, which is a state we're pretty familiar with. It's the state of Georgia. I bet you live there. I live there too. It became a state on January 2nd, 1788. I want to see if you can find Jimmy Carter on this page. Let me see if you can find Jimmy Carter. Do you know who he is? Even if you don't, I will tell you. <laughs> Here's Jimmy Carter. He is the only president ever to have been elected from Georgia. And he was president from 1977 to 1981. He's from Plains, Georgia, which is in Southwest Georgia. And he's the oldest living former president today. So he's still around, which is pretty amazing. Now we're gonna hop on over to the 11th state, New York, which became a state in 1788. I want you to see if you can find Sojourner Truth on this page. I'll give you a second. She's a woman and a really amazing woman at that. There she is. Sojourner Truth was born into slavery in New York in the late 1700s. Back then there was slavery in both the North and the South. She ran away and after she ran away, she got to be really famous. She became a famous speaker. She was an abolitionist, which means she fought for the end of slavery. And she was a suffragist, which means that she fought for women's rights to vote. Now we're gonna go to the middle of the country and go to Missouri, which became a state in 1821. I want you to see if you can find the state animal of Missouri. Hint, it's really big on this page. The state animal of Missouri is the mule. 
Missouri used to breed a lot of mules and they were very famous for their mules. And therefore their state animal is the mule. They kind of look like horses, don't they? That's because they are part horse and part donkey. Now we're gonna skip over to the last two states. And number 49 is Alaska. And it became a state in 1959. That's a long, long time after Delaware became a state. I want you to see if you can find Alaska state bird on this page. Let me see if you can find it. It's actually in two places on this page. It's a bird with a really interesting name, the willow ptarmigan. It's also a very tough bird because it can live in really cold places like Alaska. And it actually changes colors, which I thought was amazing. In the winter, it turns white and it can blend in with the snow. Probably helps it from getting eaten, don't you think? And in the summer when it's warmer, it turns red and brown. And the last state is Hawaii. And it became a state in 1959. Now see if you can find this person on the page. Can you find the last ruler of Hawaii before it became a state? She's a woman, so that might help you. The last ruler of Hawaii, before it became a United States territory and later a state, was Lilio Kalani. And she fought really hard to remain the ruler of her country and also for the rights of Native Hawaiian people and Asian people in her country. But then the United States took it over and they never gave Hawaii back. It became a territory and then it became a state in 1959, like we said. And the last place we're gonna talk about isn't a state at all, which is kind of funny to talk about a place that's not a state, but it's inside the United States of America. And that's Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, our nation's capital. So where do you think you can find these places that are on this picture? It's the Washington Monument, the White House, the Capitol Building, and the Lincoln Memorial. They're all in the same area. What do you think it's called? Hmm. I wonder what it's called. Let's find out. You can find the Washington Monument, the White House, the Capitol Building, and the Lincoln Memorial at the National Mall in DC. Now, the National Mall is not a shopping mall. Back in the day, the word mall used to mean something more like a park. And that's kind of what it is. It's a big park with lots of monuments and memorials. And these are just a few of the things around there. There are many other memorials and monuments. One of the famous ones is the one for Vietnam veterans and there's another famous one, and that's a lot more recent, is the one that was built 
in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. National Mall is a great place to visit if you ever get a chance. And that's the end of our story time today for Read Across America Week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn about all the other states that are in The Train of States by Peter, Peter Cease, you can check the book out from your local Augusta Richmond County Public Library. Take care. <laughs>